In this video I will show you how to use Grand Theft Photoshop Action. So what I'll be actually doing here, I'm going to use uh, this photo uh, as an example for a demonstration. Okay, so I'm going to play the action and this is the effect uh, that they're going to create. Okay, so as you can see the action will create this uh, GTA art style. Okay, so uh, you got uh, also the Grand Theft Action logo here and uh, the logo is included into the main download. So it is in a PSD format. Also, there is an action for uh, included for creating uh, this text effect. So you can actually uh, type your own text, uh, play the action for this text effect, and then just apply this uh, uh, move the, uh, from uh, PSD file uh, of the, this logo. Just take this logo uh, and uh, this graphic element and move it to your text. Uh, also, this text here, uh, unique design can be easily replaced with your own text uh, via smart object. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to show you a few more examples that I made using this action. Okay, so from this photo I created this, from this to this, okay here as you can see I have used a different color option and there are 11 color options that you can choose from. And from this, I created this. Okay, and uh, also after you make uh, twelve examples uh, with this action of your photos, uh, what you can do is you can uh, just put them into one folder and play the frame action that is also included into the main download, and the action will create this GTA uh, frame for you with your photos, and uh, you can also place the log here. Okay, so let me close these windows now. Okay, so I'm going to use this photo as I said. So what you gotta do when you open your photo, the first thing you need to check is that your photo is a background layer, okay? So uh, it should be called a background and have uh, this uh, lock icon. So if your photo is something like this or anything else, okay, so just go to layer, new, and just choose a background from layer, okay? So and this step will make your layer uh, photo a background layer, okay? Also, uh, you can click on this little arrow here uh, and just go to panel options and just make sure that uh, this option here add copy to copied layers and groups is checked okay so I'll click okay uh, also you should check your image mode it should be rgb color mode and bit kennel and let's check the image size uh, resolution can be 72 to 300 it doesn't matter and uh, for uh, size i recommend you to use the photos that are at least 2000 pixels wide uh, or high uh, height okay so that uh, the range uh, for the best results okay so I'm just going to use this uh, size as it is okay so I'm just gonna click okay and now to load the action just go to window actions and uh, click on this little arrow here load actions and now just choose the action that can be downloaded okay so here it is uh, and here as you can see we got the three actions this is the action for the main effect this is the action for creating the frame and this is the action for creating the grand theft uh, text effect okay uh, so before you play the action what you gotta do is to make a new layer double click here just type a brush uh, all letters must be lowercase otherwise the action won't work okay and I'll just pick a brush tool and uh, uh, you can choose any color here is not important just choose some color that you can clearly see what you have brushed and just brush over your photo and uh, also what's important here is that your brush opacity must be a 100 okay so just make sure it's a 100 and you can just start brushing you can choose a soft or hard brush uh, however you like uh, also what you can do sometimes if you have a background like this that is a one color background you can just uh, take a, a magic wand tool uh, select the background layer and just make a selection for example like this then just go to select inverse inverse the selection you can add a little bit of smooth there like one two pixels and then just uh, select the brush layer and just uh, filter there okay uh, 
I had already uh, done the brushing before, so I'm going to use that file. Uh, I was uh, a little bit more precise there, so uh, let me see. Here it is. Okay, so after finishing with brushing, uh, all you have to do is just to select the Grand Theft 2 Photoshop action and just click on the play button. So I'll pause the video here and I will get back uh, when the action is finished. Uh, and then I'm going to go throughout all the layers to show you how they work and how you can you customize the effect. Okay. Uh, okay, the action has just stopped, so first I will close the actions panel. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, to close all the folders. So, uh, for case you got the uh, open folders here, uh, you can just, uh, this group will be automatically selected by the action, okay? So just hold Control Alt button for PC or Command Option for Mac and just click on the little letter here. So it will close down uh, all folders if you got any open folders here, okay? So I've started the customization from here. So f the first layer that uh, we got here is, uh, it says one color background. So uh, this photo already have one color background, but if you had a, col uh, a photo that has um, uh, some background, so you can, uh, with this layer, you could use it uh, uh, one color background. So just you have to turn it on and then double click on this little box here, you can choose any color, okay? So, uh, you can also pick sometimes the color uh, from your photo. I'm just going to use something like this. Okay, something like this. So click OK. And uh, here we got um, black and white layer. So uh, when I turn it off, uh, on, and uh, on and off, you will see that nothing happens because uh, this layer is turning your background into a black and white effect and uh, as I um, I'm using one color background but anyway uh, this photo had one color background so this layer will not take effect there okay but just know uh, when you have a, a, a background in your photo uh, this layer will just make your uh, background black and white you can also play with this opacity and just make desaturate a little bit your photo it doesn't have to be black and white 100% uh, but if you wish that your background keeps the color then just turn it off okay so this layer is an uh, additional edge, it says, okay, so this is the stroke, as you can see here, and you can double click there, and go to stroke, and increase the stroke with this layer, uh, by increasing the size here, okay, and um, you can also change its color, uh, its position, okay, but uh, you actually just need to uh, change this amount here if you wish to increase the stroke. So I'm going to leave it by default here, and uh, uh, let's see what we got next. Uh, here we got the edges. Uh, so this layer will give some edges to our photo, as you can see. Uh, it actually uh, makes uh, the details more visible, and you can change its opacity here if you want to lower the visibility of the details. Okay. And this is the main effect, okay? So as you can see, and uh, this is just your original photo. Uh, also here you will see when I turn off this layer, if you don't wanna use the additional edge, uh, you will see that uh, uh, here you got uh, some kind of a uh, white background. And uh, this actually uh, there because uh, 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 there is a layer mask here, okay, so that makes the, uh, that is uh, giving to our background the color, but not to this stroke, uh, otherwise when you uh, use the additional edge, it would be in color with this, okay. So in the case you don't want to use this additional edge, you just have to hold a control uh, button, or for PC or Command for Mac, and click here to make the selection of it, and then just select the one color background, uh, layer mask and uh, just fill it with a uh, white color uh, as a foreground okay so as you can see uh, then uh, the edge uh, that white stroke will not be visible okay but also if I turn off my uh, edge it will not be visible okay. so I want to use edge now so I'm not going to fill this uh, mask with the white selection okay 
So let's see what we got next. We got the adjustments here and uh, here we got the brush layer. So this is the brush layer that you made in the beginning of the video. And I left this layer here. Maybe we will need it for making selections, some, uh, something like that. Okay, so you just got it there. And um, this is the overall sharpen. And by changing this opacity, you actually change the sharpen. So just set some value that you like. Okay. And uh, this is the overall brightness. When you double click here, you can move these three cursors here to change the brightness. Okay, so I'm going to brighten the photo a little bit like this, okay. Uh, this is the overall saturation. Uh, when you double click here, here you can change the saturation by moving this cursor here. So just uh, set the value that you like. Let's see something like this, maybe more. Let's use something like this, okay. And. Uh, Maybe I'll just saturate the background a little bit, like this. Okay, uh, this is the overall contrast, and uh, by moving this cursor here, you're controlling the contrast. So let's just set something like this. Okay, and uh, final, we got the color options. So you got eleven color options to choose from and uh, there are some color options that will not go maybe nicely with your photo when you have a, a, a background not a one color background okay so you just have to experiment just turn on color options see how it looks if it doesn't like try with another uh, what you can also do is to uh, turn on a color option and then uh, lower its opacity just by clicking here and dragging it aside so you can uh, apply a color option uh, not 100 percent they can be just a little bit visible there uh, add some uh, uh, coloring uh, you can also combine a few color options and uh, the three color options that they use the most are these first three here and this time i'm going to use this one here okay and sometimes what they do i'm combining these three as i turn them on uh, for example these two and then i just playing with the opacities of the both okay or you can also even combine the three color options, okay. So, I just gotta apply this color option and maybe a little bit of this. Okay, so uh, that's it. And uh, now what I'm going to do is to go to file, open, and uh, just choose the uh, Grand Theft, uh, Theft Action logo, so the file came with download. Here we got the logo, and what you can do here, you got a graphic element. When you double click there, click OK, uh, you're able to change this text here. So just take a type tool, click there, uh, you need to download this font here, OK? It's a free font, uh, it's free for commercial use, OK? And uh, you can just type your text here okay uh, lower the I will change the size just position it okay and when you save it it will automatically be added here okay so I'm going to get back my old text okay here it is so what I usually do, I just convert this to smart object. So in that case, if I resize the logo to smaller size and then get uh, make it larger, it will not lose the quality. And I'm just going to move it over here to this document. I'm going to place it at the top of the layer so it, it doesn't get affected by the color options. You can just type here like 20, maybe more. And I'm going to place it over here okay so that's it so this logo is included in the uh, a download and uh, you can see the the size here okay so uh, also uh, you can open the uh, let me close this window uh, you can open the uh, a PSD uh, called grand uh, theft text effect and so what you got 
why have you made this PSD is because to, uh, if, to effect looks uh, as it should okay uh, you must have a, a proper size so uh, that's why I have made the PSD with the proper size of the text so you can just change this text here uh, position it however you like okay and uh, after that just uh, merge these three layers okay you can select them using control button or command for Mac or just hold the shift button and click here and right click and just go to uh, just go to uh, merge layers as you see uh, you got you got a shortcut for that step okay uh, so you can just click the control E okay like this and uh, and it's important here to it's important here to just uh, rename it to uh, a text okay and uh, uh, then you can play the uh, you can play the grand theft uh, text effect uh, action okay so just click on the play button okay and as you can see uh, your text will get the grand theft uh, text effect okay so now what you can do is you can open the uh, grand theft uh, logo okay here it is and you can just take this graphic element over here, over here and create uh, of course with your own text here okay you have to change text here in the smart object and then make your own GTA logo okay uh, also what I'm going to show you now is uh, how to use uh, the frame action okay so uh, to use a frame action you actually need to make 12 examples okay using this action and you can put them into one folder uh, but you don't, you don't have to but you actually have to select them all uh, so I can put them into one folder all and what you gotta do is to open the frame PSD okay here it is and just play the frame action okay okay so uh, here it says uh, when you play the action you immediately get a pop-up window uh, the message that it says in next pop-up window select 12 photos to make multiple selection use uh, Control for PC or command for Mac also you can use shoot button and then just click open button watch the video tutorial if you need any assistance here so just click continue to proceed and I will open the folder and I will hold the shoot button select all the photos and just click open when you click open uh, the action will continue to work okay so I'm pressing the video here and the action is finished I will get back okay uh, to show you how to customize the effect okay so the action has just stopped so I will close the actions panel and again I'm going to uh, hold control alt for PC or command option for Mac to close uh, all these folders okay so let's see what we got here uh, here we got the frame okay so it's our frame and you see it has a color overlay uh, okay and uh, you can change the color of the of the border of the frame okay uh, it also got a stroke that's making uh, the the frame uh, thicker and you can control its thickness uh, uh, with the uh, with the uh, a stroke here okay uh, but you will have to resize the uh, some shapes later so I'll show you that uh, and uh, so if you change also this color here uh, uh, you can uh, okay the stroke is not visible here so you can just change the color using uh, the color overlay so uh, let's see what we got here it says a uh, photos here group and uh, you got uh, 12 photos okay so when you open them you will see that you got uh, uh, you got a shape there okay so if you increase the stroke here it will not be visible because of this shape you'll have to uh, change the size uh, of the shape also okay so if you change this to let's say 10 
uh, here I will have to uh, uh, to uh, resize this shape so uh, the thickness become uh, that uh, a stroke becomes the visible okay you see that this stroke is thicker than this one here okay so let me get back the stroke to okay so uh, you can just select your photo here and using the transform tool you just make it size as you like okay and uh, uh, also your photos uh, will be a smart object so that means if you resize them and after that you change their places for example you move this photo here to a different border and you want to increase its size it will lose, lose the quality so let's just quickly resize the photos so they are all visible uh, nicely okay That's it. So here I got a uh, car photo. It's not too good, vis too much visible. So I'm probably going to. Uh, move it here to some other shape and also uh, when i was preparing the images for this frame i have removed the logos from all of them okay so because i'm going to add uh, the logo here on the center so i don't need separate logos on each photo and uh, after i finish this i'm going to show you how to switch places of some photos So here is just important to select the photo, the smart object, not the shape under uh, that is on the layer uh, under your photo layer. You can also use a uh, selection of the shape to uh, center your photo. Okay. And the last photo. okay that's it so if you uh, if you want to switch places of some photos you can just uh, you can use the auto select command just to make sure that it's uh, this option set the layer and select this one see uh, which layer is that you can also mark it with some color so you can easily notice it and uh, for example i want to switch this photo with this one here because this photo needs a little bit wider frame so so like this one also marked with the red so i just know i have to switch the place of these two layers i'm going to move this one here and uh, i'm going to move this one here okay you can mark the folder the whole folder maybe that will be more easier so it's important to have a clipping mask there so just cl right click and create clipping mask if you don't have it and now you will see that both photos will probably not be visible because this photo is uh, placed over here and it has a mask, clipping mask over here. So just move it. Uh, or I have the inverse situation. So you can just uh, select the shape and just center it there. Okay. Just like this. And just also select the shape here and just move your photo there. Okay.
Uh, and as I said, you got the smart objects, so you can increase the image size uh, if, of any of these images without uh, losing the quality. Okay. Okay, so that's it. And I'm going to close the folder, and I'm going to open the uh, uh, GTA logo. Here it is. Again, I'm going to call it this smart object. So I'll move it over here. Let's set the maybe 30 over here okay maybe a little bit more something like this I'm gonna uh, press Control A for making a selection of the canvas and just center the logo uh, into the center okay uh, so uh, I could also maybe switch these two photos here so because uh, this photo is a little bit different and it will be visible here because of the logo okay so you can just play and uh, uh, switch the photos uh, in from frame to frame okay so just place them uh, everything they look the best okay so uh, uh, I hope you understood everything uh, by the action so as you saw you got the Grand Theft 2 Photoshop action and uh, you got a frame action you got the Grand Theft text uh, effect action and you got the three PSDs, okay, the frame PSD, you got the logo PSD, uh, and you got the PSD for creating this text effect. So I hope you understood everything, but you, if you still need the, uh, uh, you got any questions, you need any assistance with the action, uh, just feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Thanks.